What's up, everyone? There's going to be a guide on how to sharpen the image quality on Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven, as well as remove the motion blur if that's not your thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the way the game looks out of the box. This is the demo version, but this fix is going to work with the full version as well. It's kind of a universal fix for Unreal Engine 4 games, so uh, you can apply this to other games as well. Usually there are a lot more tweaks you can apply to this. Uh, on top of it, or you can tweak the settings that I'm gonna that I'm gonna have applied here. But you know that's <laughs> it's endless. So this is a good baseline for people. As you can see, there is uh, some aggressive TAA going on in the game by default. The motion blur is 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 pretty bad. Hopefully this translates in the 60 FPS video, uh, but it's pretty bad. And then the only option you have in the settings is to disable anti-aliasing altogether. Uh, no motion blur setting, so let's disable that. And as you can see now, the image is is aliased, so especially around the character models, and it just looks rough. So let's go ahead and apply the fix. What you want to do is you want to navigate to the game's install directory. I've already done so. Once you're the in the game's install directory, you want to go to game global config saved config windows no editor and i'll put that in the description i'm gonna put all this stuff in the description so you can just copy and paste stuff and again i'm running the demo version but this works in the full version 100 percent so uh here we are in the folder we need to be in you want to focus on engine.ini and you want to add the following to it i already have it here in text file again i'll add in the description you can just throw it at the bottom here uh, what this does is it uses a better implementation of, of temporal anti-aliasing. Uh, that's going to be this section right here. And at the bottom here, we have motion blur disabled. So you can use both of these sections. Uh, if you want to keep motion blur, just get rid of this. If you want to just disable motion blur and keep the regular anti-aliasing, get rid of this. Again, you can tweak all of this, these settings or different values. I'm not 100% sure what the maximum and minimum values are for each one. Uh, but this is kind of a good baseline, I think, at least with my resolution uh, to get you going. So you want to save that, exit. And you also have game user settings that any here with other settings. I tried to change this to like 200%. It really seemed to work. Uh, and these, I believe, the max value is 3. So I just left them. But again, there are a ton of Unreal Engine tweaks that you can do. It's just, uh, you know, the video would, would pretty much be endless if we were to get into that. So let's boot up the game again. You don't have to touch the game settings. You don't have to enable or disable anti-aliasing. As a matter of fact, that may... I don't know if that'll screw up what we just did. Uh, but it's better off not to touch that setting. So now, as you can see, the game looks a lot sharper. Again, this might not translate in a YouTube video. It looks sharper. It's not perfect because I haven't tweaked those settings to perfection. <laughs> I just kind of use like a them as a baseline. But as you can see, the aliasing is, is gone around the characters. At least 95% of it is. And uh, motion blur is... Here, I use the mouse to, to scroll better. To pan better. But uh, motion blur is completely disabled as well. So you get a much better image quality like this. And much more much smoother gameplay. Now, if only we can pull this camera out, it'd be a lot better. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'll look into that in a little bit. All right. Hope this helps. Enjoy the game. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.